Hey everybody, welcome aboard. Disco here, CO for VMA 131 Diamondbacks, part of CSG1. I uh, wanted to uh, address some thoughts about uh, the current capabilities of the Community A4E Charlie. And uh, what I'd like to do is to demonstrate an actual non precision approach in the airplane with the nav system as it's currently enabled. Uh, not going to be easy to do, but it is actually very possible uh, to do. So uh, my thinking here is we'll get the jet started up, um, we'll brief up, uh, we'll use the attack and one three left uh, approach that exists for Aldafra. And basically we'll treat it as a non-directional beacon NDB approach uh, that happens to provide DME, which we do get from our attack end. Um, we can't select the course line. Uh, but it's more than enough information to fly, as I'm about to demonstrate. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Kneeboard. So, the approach we're going to fly today is the tac in 13 left for Eldafra. Now, basically, uh, we're going to depart Eldafra on 3-1 uh, because the winds are favoring 3-1 today. So, we'll depart on 3-1 right which is the reciprocal for 1-3 left. Uh, we're going to uh, fly out to 4 miles. We're going to begin then uh, come right uh, and intercept the 240 outbound. We'll make one turn uh, on the hold uh, on the... Uh, actually, I scratched that. I forgot. That's uh, if we're heading south. We're actually going to go out to the north, um, northwest, uh, at four miles, we'll make a right-hand turn. We'll intercept the 260 out or the 060 outbound, and uh, you can kind of see this little hold up over here. We'll hit uh, the hold point, which is 20 miles DME. We'll make a 30-degree uh, cut to the right. We'll go about a minute 45 outbound. Then we'll do a uh, 180 turn back in to uh, 240. Uh, when we hit that. Um, We'll turn uh, outbound, so we'll roll 90 degrees uh, to the right from the 240 inbound, and uh, we'll fly around the arc at 20 miles. Uh, we'll intercept the 128 course inbound, and we're going to do that all based purely on the, the pointer and the uh, gyro compass. That's all we've got, uh, but it's more than enough, as you'll see. Um, then basically, we'll be uh, 3,000. To uh, 13 miles, we'll descend to 2,000 at seven miles and configure. Uh, and uh, from uh, seven miles, we can uh, descend down to 630 feet uh, and uh, start looking for the runway. So that is the uh, intention uh, for this uh, evening's flight. So again, there's just not enough good things to say about this model. It, it is truly a remarkable jet. Um, it is nearly full featured uh, as it is. I think we currently have the widest uh, variety of uh, ordnance that can be carried uh, in the sim, uh, except possibly the Warthog itself. Um, it really is a remarkably uh, capable strike aircraft. Uh, my objective today is to show that it also has a remarkable level of systems uh, completeness in it and functionality. And that even though we don't currently have the ability to set uh, a course or radio, select a radial um, in the TAC end, uh, that there are uh, ways to work around that using real world instrument techniques that uh, give you quite a bit of capability, actually at least with respect to a terrestrial tank end. So uh, this would be a little bit more difficult with, uh, with the boat. And I'll do one where we set an INS point and uh, try and make that work with the boat. That requires a little bit more finesse uh, because you have to estimate where the boat's going to be in order to set your reference point. All right, so power is coming up to 90%. There we go. And fuel flow is good, EGT is good, pressure ratio is good. All right, come up to full power, stick full forward, brake release. 
and we're rolling. Airspeed's live. Nose buries at 100. 125, smoothly rotate. And we are flying. Trim for a little easier. There we go, 50 feet, gear's coming up. 175, flaps are coming up. All right, so there's autopilot on path mode for the time being. Going to taxi light is off. Radar is search and coming back on the power. We're getting into the clouds. Okay, we're on heading mode now. Heading and, pa and, uh, and pitch, so those are both automatic right now. Autopilot's handling both of those. Four miles, we're now going to come right. 090 is actually the course we want. There we go. Alright, so we're going to continue in this climb in the rain here. Now, so what we need to do is we're coming around, and the intention here is that by steering 090, this takes us back um, at a 30 degree angle to intercept the 060 radial outbound. Um, and we're going to have to do that purely based on the tail and nose indication because that's all we have. And we're going to ride that out to uh, 20 miles and then execute a procedure turn at the whole point. There we go. speed over the ground, we want to keep it right around 300 knots. That makes the mental math easy to manage. Looks like that's going to be indicating about 260. So now we see the pointer is coming around at a pretty good clip for us. And when it's about 10 degrees from 240, uh, we're going to make a left turn from 090. We're going to go back to 060, which is our outbound course. So as you can see, the pointer, the head, is pointing back to the station. And this 240 is our, our desired outbound course. And we're going to use uh, 8,500 as our uh, holding altitude. So we may be doing several things simultaneously or nearly simultaneously. All right, so it looks like we're about 10 miles near as I can read that from El Dafra. Should be getting right near the top of the cloud deck right now. There we go. So we'll still have a little bit of sun, uh, descending sunlight up here. Not a lot, but a little bit. All right. So there we are. And we are going to have to do kind of two things at once. So. We're going to capture our altitude first, and we're going to use just the altitude hold mode here on the autopilot. So we'll let it work that 
magic on its own. Um, oop, totally missed it. So we're going to hand fly for a second here. So we need to come around to uh, zero, 060. Zero. And back down to 8,500 feet. So part of this is to show that you can actually fly this by hand if you have to. Alright, so we're going to need to make some minor adjustments here, but not too bad. Alright, so path mode, altitude hold, and heading we don't want to do until we correct to 60. Alright, and heading mode, okay. So, now as you can see, we're, uh, we need to come left a little bit. Now, at 20 miles, we're going to basically turn that hold into a uh, outbound procedure turn. And we do that by steering right to 090. All right, so we're basically managing the system right now. We're going to watch the clock here, and when we roll level, we're going to go a minute and 45 seconds from that mark. So, all right. So that was uh, 10, 15. So we're gonna take that to uh, 12 and then we will make our inbound turn. Move a little bit of juice out. So here we are, zero ground reference at this stage. All we have is the needle. All right, so we're 30 seconds in. So we want to see that go all the way around and then back up one more time. There's 11. and our speeds and keep it around 300 over the ground because again that gives us the five miles a minute which is what we want to understand so there's a minute 15 minute 30 coming up and when the second hand is straight up 12 we'll uh, execute a uh, 180 degree slightly more than that actually turn to the left uh, back to an inbound course of 240 and we'll fine tune on the way in there we go so coming left 240 move back to 240. All right, so now we're basically just watching everything on the jet we're systems managing at this stage. So out in, out, out of pilots holding the altitude for us and handling the steering, it's making the steering predictable, which is very important. And so we're a little over 30 miles out. Now as we wrap up this turn, uh, looks like we'll be close to on course. Uh, so we might have to make some minor adjustments, but we'll see what that looks like here shortly. So again, right now we're lining up pretty nicely, but we've still got about uh, 45 degrees to go. Uh, as far as uh, our turn is concerned. So we're moving our way back in now. We're seeing 32 miles and it's counting down. Uh, 
can tell we're going to need to go past 240, so we'll start with 5 degrees and see if that's enough to pull the needle back for us. Alright, so we roll out, we're waiting for the needle to go back to 24, so we'll give another 5 degrees. So the thing is, if we want the needle to go to the right, we have to turn away from it. And then as it comes up to 240, then we'll turn in. Keeping in mind we have a little bit of a wind from the right hand side. The winds were, uh, I think, uh, 310 at 10 ish. Okay, so we're 27 miles, that means we're about a minute and a half from our turn, and the course is looking good. Coming back to 240. All right. Got a little fast. Speed in the in the scooter is difficult to manage. Um, I'll say. I'm gonna put the boards out. Slow down quickly. Okay, got less than a minute. Let's see how that speed works for us. That throttle setting. And so basically, when this indicates about two miles. That's 30 seconds, and that's roughly the time it's going to take us to turn right to a heading of 320. 330. So now, right 330. Okay, coming right to 330. This you'll see will probably work its way to about 20 and then stay there. We can see that we're still basically on the 240. And uh, what we're going to want to do is if the, if the head of the needle is behind where we want, then we need to turn towards the needle. So we're going to clearly not need to go all the way to 33. I'm going to say we're going to go to 320 and see how that works. So we're still about 10 off, so we're going to go ahead and pull another 5 degrees in. Alright, so we're going to stay there and let that work its way around. In fact, we're going to go about 5 degrees back the other way. You don't want to get in too close. So what we're looking for is a combination of movement around the dial as well as keeping that DME at about 20 because that's the arc. The arc is 20 miles. So basically now, we're not looking for a specific radial, we're only looking to keep the uh, station at 9 o'clock and uh, distance at 20 miles. So this is basically, it's uh, one click, so one degree click, about every second and a half to two seconds I think is what it works out to. If you're moving away from the station, you turn faster and you put the needle forward of the 9 o'clock position. If you want to space out a little bit, get a little bit more distance, then you actually let it move behind this little reference tick here at the 9 line for you. Right now we're about 20 miles, so we're just going to keep this coming around. Our speed is staying right close to 300. And 
Now you could hand fly this if you wanted, um, but it just seems like it makes sense to uh, use the systems that are functional in the airplane to reduce your workload. That's why they're here. So we're still 20 miles away, we're basically just describing that big giant 20 mile circle around the, uh, uh, out over the bay, and uh, we're going to continue around this way for another, looks like about 140 degrees to go. Now once we're once we've got our inbound course, the 128, which we're almost uh, here at the 135 mark, that's when we'll begin our descent down to 3,000. That's just my rule of thumb. That's not an official rule. It's just what I've been using in my tests for this. Uh, set up. So we're going to click the autopilot off. We're going to give ourselves a thousand foot per minute descent rate. Back up about a thousand feet a minute. There we go. Click the autopilot back on. Heading mode back on. So now the autopilot's going to fly a thousand foot per minute descent for us roughly. And then we just watch speed and our turn. So while we're waiting, we're going to go ahead and turn the lights a little more night vision friendly. Although I know if I turn them down too much, you can't see them in the video, so I'm going to leave them up before I get stupid. Sorry, 10 degrees ahead of our inbound course, which is coming right up. Now we roll straight inbound. clear to descend to 3,000. So since we're going to come out roughly on our inbound course, once we go wings level, we'll go ahead and speed up our descent. We'll expedite to 3,000. You see, that just 
that's right on right there and come back to the right about two degrees I think once Iron Mike is laid up we're going to go ahead and accelerate our descent okay so again looking at the brief we're clear to 3,000 at this stage and from 3,000, or from 13 miles, we're clear down to 2. So we're going to continue this descent down to uh, 2,000 feet. About 2 degrees to the right. Just watching the needle. Also watching our speed. Keeping it around 300. Over the ground. And at this stage, we'd start thinking about slowing down. 10 miles. So seven miles, we want to be 2,000 feet. And you want to be where you can um, start thinking about landing. So uh, So we're steering 132 to be steering right at the boat, or right at the station. So we actually want to come to the right a little bit, because I think it's off to our... Yeah. Alright, so... At 7 miles, we're clear to descend all the way down to... Uh, pattern altitude, which is... 600 feet, so we're going to go ahead and speed up that descent. There we go. And looky there. There be an airport. Now that was a bit extreme on the descent rate on my part. So at this stage, what we'll do um, is we'll do a uh, we'll switch to circling, and uh, I'll set up to do a uh, regular right downwind because we've got the airport fully in sight. We have enough visibility to make this work. So I'm going to extend out. configure. There's gear, there's flaps. All right, we are configured. We're in a little tight. I'm going to step out a little further. some APC practice in, set it to standby, which we should have done during the descent, by the way. So we may end up just hand flying this one. This little highway here, by the way, makes a really good reference for your downwind. All right, that's the rabbit ears. We can come around now. Okay. So, touch early on the 500 foot line, but that's not too bad. Hand flying today. Getting a little low. Okay. 
keep our altitude and speed here for just a second longer. And zero, zero, short final gear flaps boards. Short final, we'll keep the I'm gonna drag it in here a little bit. I got a little lower than I intended. Get a little arrow braking going. So we don't need the high speed there. And taxi lights on. We'll roll up the golf here. And here we are. Held off for ground, Rattler 00 is clear the active at golf for Snake Pit. So we'll get the spoilers and speed brakes in. I leave the flaps down for taxi. And back to the Snake Pit and shut down. Ground radar is off. Nav radar to standby. Keep the seat off. Okay, so this will turn into our parking always catches me by surprise. But not this day. <laughs> All right. And there you have it, boys and girls. A non-precision approach to minimum, circling minimums in that case, followed by a uh, recovery in the community A4E Charlie. Once again, uh, the work that uh, Gospodin and Merker and the rest of the team have done uh, putting this airplane together, they've built level of functionality that is uh, just really impressive and uh, highly encourage everybody uh, go out and have fun with the with the scooter in the dark and in the weather because it is fully capable all right 
Нет. Окей. Back to flashing. Because we're no longer moving and about to shut down. Entirely too much fun. Great job, guys. Disco out. <laughs>